early morning in the southern outskirts of uh, Taipei. Let's see what the day deserves for me in the city. just arrived at Lin Ceramic Studio, an iconic uh, teaware brand uh, in Taiwan. Let's have a look inside. Half of the ware is uh, unglazed, with the most common clay being uh, this one here. A dark brown clay with a very rough uh, texture. It really feels like um, scratching sand under your finger. They have also a Ru Yao, Ru Kiln series that you see here, high fire. And they are particularly inventive as far as shapes of Gondao Bay of uh, pictures is concerned. For example, for this specific shape here, they have a design that works well for right-handed people, but uh, also very well for left-handed people like me. This is a concept that I also find very interesting. It has a hole in the back of the picture. And they just prepared a cup of uh, Taiwan Ulen for me. The prices are fairly high. They start for teapots at about 100 euros, maybe a little bit more, and they easily reach prices well above 1000 euros or 1000 dollars. Also, the tea is tasty. This design with uh, these uh, waves for the cups and for the teapots is uh, a classic here in the shop. I have seen it uh, also here for the Ruyao. And also here at the entrance. In this corner here, there are a few small teapots with uh, two cups. The prices go, although there is a discount for uh, this set, at about 130 euros to the golden one here at 180. I mean, it's kind of reasonable, I would say. And now I have to kill another couple of hours. So time for a tea break and I will go for coffee. There is uh, the flagship store of the simple Kappa Huasan. And uh, yep, that's where I'm going. That's not the right one. They are obviously specialized in uh, V60 for both light roast and medium roast. 
the down feature a flat white which is a big uh, luck but uh, I will certainly go for a pour over since that's what they're specialized in. They are fairly pricey with the pour over starting at uh, 6 euros, 6 dollars and ending up at 18. Um, mostly washed beans uh, there are just a couple of natural and uh, some anaerobic which is quite interesting should lead to fairly different taste profile with respect to aerobic fermentation so i think that's the one i'll go for mm, anaerobic honey geisha with peach bergamot lavender milk and uh, mint Thank you very much. Thank you. You can smell the aroma before you drink. And this one is the information about a coffee bean. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy. It says um, peach, bergamot, lavender milk tea and mint. And I would say of all of them, the lavender milk tea is the one that really hit the spot. There is certainly this uh, floral floral taste of the lavender and the texture of milk tea it's pretty much there and mint a hint of mint as well not sure about the peach and bergamot though although at the beginning i had this um, fruity sensation so that might be what they mean with the peach That was enough coffee for this week and uh, it's Monday this is the line now so I was kind of lucky before to get the spot uh, right away during this mount which is the, the tea that you like the most which tea mm, I like Dong Ding and Dong Ding okay, Guan Yi. So we, we made a good choice also for you. Yeah,成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成成
to different Hong Oolong and they're both actually very special because I didn't know both cultivars before sitting in here. The first one, I think this one here is the... Um, this is the Shan Cha. So this is Taiwan uh, Shan Cha, which is a Camellia sinensis variety Formosinensis. So it's not uh, the classic Assamica or sinensis variety. It's a different variety that just grow here on Taiwan. Yeah. And the other one? Um, tai Yingxiang, Tai Cha Er Shi Hao. This number is 20. Number 20. Yeah. So this cultivar is cultivar number 20, which is uh, the the name is In Xiang. In Xiang. In yes. Xiang. We are waiting five minutes and then we will taste it. It's five minutes already? Already. Okay. The dry leaves were smelling like um, peanuts to me. Oh, you want? Mm -hmm. Very creal taste is extremely aromatic, as uh, typical I would say of uh, Hong Oolong. Yeah, but also with um, a good body. Yeah, from the black. Mm -hmm. Really nice. This is the first time I tried this. Mm -hmm. They have also different color, like that one is already darker and this one is uh, a little more yellow. Different taste. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe this. It's something new to me. <laughs> it's different extremes. Very different, yeah. yeah. Like some, somebody don't like it too strong or it's too flat. Mm. Well, it, it is less aromatic. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's difficult to describe. I like it actually. A little sweet. So what's the difference in the production between uh, um, Hong Oolong and mm -hmm. Oolong? So yeah. how do you make a Oolong becoming mm -hmm. a Hong Oolong? Mm -hmm. um, Hong Oolong is the mix the Oolong and the black tea. And mm -hmm. but so Hong Oolong, uh, actually, so Hong Oolong have two types. It's close the black tea and close the Oolong tea. The, fame, uh, the smell and, and the aroma is close to the oolong and the black, black tea, the mm -hmm. two types. Mm -hmm. But now, um, now um, Taiwan oolong tea a um, lot close to the black tea. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So you go to outside just, uh, or tea shop, buy the oolong tea close, yeah. always close to the black tea. So the, the oolong tea is close to black tea nowadays? Yeah, this is one yeah. type. But, yeah, this Hong yeah. Oolong. Yes, Hong Oolong. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but other other one, the mm -hmm. Hong Oolong tea, is the type is close to Oolong. But then you start the processing mm -hmm. like Oolong, like a little bit of scrubbing. Depends. And yeah. Relaxing. Yeah. And for Hong Oolong, what do you do? Like you do this longer to oxidize more? Or? Um. Yeah. Depends. Uh, fermented time. Fermentation time. Yeah. Because so, if you um Oolong, uh Oolong cha fermented more. Yeah. You the uh, after the black tea, the fermented just short. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But oolong tea, the fermented is very important and hard. Yes. Yeah. So not lot many people know, just don't know how to use how how to make. So so basically, when you do hong oolong, yeah, you do the processing like mm -hmm. oolong. Yes. But you ferment or mm -hmm. oxidize the mm -hmm. leaves longer. Yeah, oolong oolong the fermented is very long. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's mm -hmm. just like oolong processes, but very long, yeah. so it's even longer than doing a normal oolong. Yes, mm. takes the but whole... also call hong oolong, but just close the black tea or close black the, yeah, oolong, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so everybody don't know how to depend, how to choose, because you said hong oolong, you said hong oolong, but different flavor. Oh, yeah, okay. so I actually have and two types. Everyone does uh, whatever they want, so you have yeah. one type, is very close to 
Poncha. Yeah. And one time is very close to Ulo. Yes. Mm. Mm. Here we have another very interesting comparison. We have uh, two different uh, Hong Oolong, but one, this one here, is more on the Oolong side, and this one is more on the Hong side, more on the black tea side. Let's have a look at the leaves. This one here, the darker one, is uh, the Hong Oolong, more in the direction of the Oolong. It is a Tieguan Yin cultivar. And this one here that actually looks uh, brighter, and it is brighter in color, it is closer to the Hong Cha, to the black tea, and it is uh, Si Jichun. Ryan just put uh, water in the bowls, and you can see how much quicker this one turns dark pointing in the direction of a black tea. I'm starting with uh, the Tieguan Yin. It's supposed to be closer to an Oolong tea, and uh, you can tell by the color that it's fairly pale. It's just 2.5 grams in the bowl and about 150 milliliters of water. High roasting, pretty intense, but um, no maltiness really. And now I go for the Sijichun, which is uh, darker in color, it's more orange. It's fairly aromatic, mm, a little bit more body, but no roastiness and uh, um, some citrus in, citrusness maybe like a little bit of lemon it reminds me a little bit of jensen shaozhong yeah. you think so yeah i think so yeah mm. a little bit now we switch to two black teas both just one gram of leaves this one was from, uh, which was the name of the mountain? Yangmingshan. E. Uh, Yangmingshan. Yangming. Yeah, Yangmingshan. Yang yeah. mm. Okay, now you can really test the difference between the previous mm -hmm. and, yeah, this is clearly black tea. Mm -hmm. Just one gram also, before we had 2.5 grams. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you could eat, don't need a lot. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. The cultivar, Ping Zhong? Um, Ping Li, Yang Ming Shan. But that's the place, right? The the um Ye Zhong. Uh, Ping Zhong. Ping Zhong. Yeah, Ping Zhong. Uh, this twenty number twenty. Number twenty. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this one just we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, because just uh operational maybe just very oh. long has stayed here. Okay. Yeah, but we don't know them. Oh, okay. So it's like is is wild growing or they cut the uh, the bushes? Me? No, no. The the farmers. The farmers. Ah, oh, farmers. Mm. Uh. Uh, it's just this is the, they cut the bushes. The, just me, I uh, use the hand. Mm. Yeah, me. You pick the leaves. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You want a little um, Instagram? Okay. No, no, no. I, 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 I trust you. I trust yeah. him. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Arrivederci. <laughs> I, but you, do you speak Italian? <laughs> How good? Un poco. Un poco. But you have good pronunciation, <laughs> Maybe next time uh, we drink Italian wine and we ah, speak yeah. Italian. Bye-bye, <laughs> ciao. So guys, this was, um, yeah, unexpected, unplanned and so good. Every single tea was um, just amazing, just really, really good. Of course, I will keep the contact with them. Maybe we will be able even to do something together. I don't know, but for now my mouth is just full of taste, every tea was so sweet, so, so, so sweet.
So after so much tea, we finally get some food with the local, Jessica. Nice First stop for noodle. Which one do you want? I want tan chai, meat. This one. This one here is the typical one? Yes, the typical one. Alright, then uh, that's the typical, so I'll go for that as well. Okay, cool, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Dessert. What do we have there? We have here like sticky rice with sugar and peanut butter. All right. to try. <laughs> try one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yes, let's let's move out of the way. I have to do everything with my left hand. Mm. Mm. It's impossible to speak. I definitely will need something to drink after that. It's so dry. It's so tasty. Bye -bye. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I've got the cane sugar juice and uh, orange juice. Orange juice. 